we may have gotten the confirmation that we might be seeing a beta with a new world creation screen quite soon. And we're going to go over a few tweets from two different people that's talking about the new UI. Now we're going to begin by sliding over to Twitter where we have an official tweet from an official Minecraft developer named Volgar. And he says this, Seems like we are quite done with sneak peeks for now. Be sure to check out one of the upcoming betas of Minecraft for it's slightly elusive not on every device but under the game tab of the create new world screen to try the new version of the screen. Meanwhile, stay tuned. And this was also backed up by another developer on Mojang named David or Corner Art MC. And he said, some new Bedrock UI coming soon to a beta near you. But the question is, which beta is it going to be? Is it going to be next week's beta? The beta afterwards? Or is it the beta in three weeks? Like we don't know which beta it's going to be, but all we know is that it's coming to a beta soon. That's basically the confirmation. The UI change for the world creation screen that's coming very, very soon. And we do have a few tweets from Mark Jones who has gone ahead and recreated what the UI could look like using elements that are found in the game files. The first tweet states, continuing new UI, new create world screen. Great job to Volgar, Perelineto, and team. Mark Jones does not work with Mojang, but however, the other two names, they do in fact work over at Mojang. Now for the images that you're about to see, they are recreations of what the UI is going to look like when it eventually is added to the game. But all the elements making up the UI, they are in the game files within the beta. For our first picture, it is the create world general section. So we have the world name, we have game mode, survival and creative, we have the difficulty, then on the sidebar, we have advanced, multiplayer, cheats and research packs. And I think that this looks really great looks really clean and really simple and definitely will make Minecraft Bedrock look a little bit cleaner and sleeker. And then our second image showcases more on the sidebar, which we also got behavior pack and we got beta features, which is what this one is specifically showing off, where we got gameplay, we got wild update, vanilla experiments, add-on creators, holiday creator features, custom biomes, and additional modding capabilities. And I also love the fact that underneath each tab, it tells you exactly what it does. And that's the one thing that's all always driven me crazy about Minecraft today. When you're trying to make add-ons and you look at the experimental tabs, you don't know which one does what. Like even I get very confused. Like which one helps you with data-driven block? Well that is all of the creator features. Without that text there, probably would have never known that. And it's just going to be so useful with that underneath there. I just love that quite a bit. Then our third image is showing off the multiplayer tab, which we have our multiplayer game. Currently they have it switched on. We have player access, then our default player permission missions and right on the very bottom we have visible to land players. Then our final image is the advanced tab. All the world options that you'll need will be put inside of here such as for the fire, TNT explodes, fire spreads and so on and so forth. Now in the previous beta of 1.18.10.27 we got some new UI element for the emote screen. Mark Jones did tweet out about this and he said, with today's beta they implemented a new emote wheel screen. Better question mark? No but it's more Minecraft style. I don't really like how this is going so far. With the current emote screen, we got like eight emotes, but with this new one, we only got like four. I kind of prefer having more on the wheel. Like maybe they can introduce squares on the corners because then that would be eight emotes instead of being just four. And if you're still wondering if this is official or not, yes, it is official. I'm in my file explorer right now and I went to the textures that are in the current beta. And we have the current emote wheel and then the new one right here. So it is going to be officially coming to the game. And also in that same beta, we did get a new change for the dressing room. So instead of here, we got this new sideboard section which we got some brand new navigational buttons. The first button is Alex with some arrows, which is where you can choose your character. You got a simple Steve, which is where you can create your character. We got a clothes hanger, which takes you to your own skin section. We got Alex doing a pose, which is for your emotes. And then we have the cape section, which is where all the capes are going to be. But question is, is Mojang going to ever add any more capes? I really hope so. Now with all these changes that we've seen for the UI, I definitely am quite excited to see it inside the game officially. I mean, it's been in the works for a long, long time. And when something has been in the work as long as this has, I mean, you gotta have a lot of anticipation for it. And when the beta does come out with those changes, then I will definitely be making a video about that to keep you guys all up to date. And to make sure that you don't miss that video when it comes out, 
Be sure to be subscribed. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments or what you think of the new world creation screen. And if you thought this video was interesting and if you're excited for the new UI, then let me know by leaving a like on today's video. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.